Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life. Um, I have already done one of these but it was really really highly suggested so I thought I'd do another one because it's kind of a new and improved day in the life. I'm going to try show what I do like on a normal day like outside of the show. Um, some backstage footage, some like some tours if I can. It's currently 10.40. I'm absolutely knackered. If you can hear I'm a little bit um locked up i've got a bit of a cold but it's fine it's nothing serious <laughs> um so i'm gonna head into central i don't actually need to be at the theater until two o'clock today because we've got some cleanup rehearsals um but yeah well anyway i will show you what i do when i get there without further ado let's get on with the video So guys, I'm actually obsessed. All the tube stations have now got um, posters of musicals in and stuff. They've not been up for ages all through lockdown and stuff, so I'm so happy that they're back up. Look how cute the changing rooms are. They literally provide like, do you know what I mean? Like absolutely everything you're gonna need. It's amazing. So I'm finished at the gym, I'm now going to head to Urban Outfitters and buy a jumper because I've forgotten a coat or a jumper and it is really really cold out today which I'm really surprised at so yeah I'm gonna go on a bit of a shop. Just thought I'd mention obviously I don't come to the gym every day, I tend to come on days, my days off or when I've got a one show day, obviously if I've got a double show day then there's no point knackering myself. Also, I need my sleep, <laughs> so I don't come on double show days, but I come on every other day if I can. Walking up these stairs is a workout of itself, literally. I definitely just walked the long way around. I literally just came from like there, and I thought, oh, it's there, and I've walked all the way around when actually I could have just gone the other way and would have been right there. How annoying. Also, I low-key defo want a picture in front of that tiger at some point. But not today, because I look really, really rough. Someone needs to stop me. I keep spending money. So I literally went in for one jumper and I've come out with £107 worth of clothes. I honestly need to be stopped. Also, please excuse the fact I look really rough. I've got no makeup, all my makeup's at the theatre. Um, so that's where I'm heading now to go put some on so I don't look like actual death. Like, honestly, it's so bad. I'm so tired today, but we move. So guys, I'm now at the theatre, um, we've got a rehearsal, just thought I'd like a, a clean up call for some of the numbers, I've got that at 2, then I've got a video session at 4, then I'm going to hopefully go out for some dinner with some of the cast, um, 
hoping to try Nando's. I really fancy a Nando's today. I've not had one in literally ages. I've been quite good my eating recently, so I think I deserve a little treat slash meal out. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit of makeup, just like some eyebrows and mascara, nothing too much, um, because my face is gonna be planted into a bed for about an hour. So obviously I don't wanna wear too much makeup because it will just rub off and it's, it's not worth it. Um, but yeah. Guys, look at my new hoodie. Oh my God, I'm actually in love. Um, it, I don't even know how expensive it was. How bad was that? I swear to God, I was in that shop like not even 10 minutes and came out with 10 items. Like how, how is that even possible? Um, but no, I'm so in love. I literally look how good. <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, I really didn't need to spend about 100 quid. I could have just gone in and bought this, but oh well. I haven't been shopping in ages and I saw so much I liked. So I was like, you know what, Imogen? Treat yourself. It's fine. Um, I will definitely regret that. Well, my bank account will hate me for the next couple of days, but it's fine. It's payday tomorrow, so who cares? No, but I wasn't exaggerating when I say I bought a lot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So rehearsals are finished, we did Nice as Kids and some of the silhouette work in Without Love, just sort of like a tidy up and stuff. We've only got like five weeks left of the run, which is really, really scary. So guys, if you haven't already seen it, you need to get booking now because like it's, it's gonna be over before we know it. Um, but yeah, just sort of a tidy up call. Now I've got 20 minutes and I've got my physio. Basically what's happened is I've just got a bit of pain in my knee and had a little bit of it in my back the other day. I think it's just something to do with the show. Quite a few people are having it at the moment. It's obviously just where maybe the choreography is more one-sided, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get it sorted out, whatever's wrong with me. And then I'm gonna go, hopefully go get Lando with my friend Rachel, because I'll probably have like an hour and a half to kill before company warm up. Uh, but yeah, so guys stick around. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe. Physio time. So I've come to Nando's. It was like a 40 minute wait time, but luckily we got down here in 20 minutes and I've just gotten ordered. Um, I will show you my order in a second. I've come with my friend Rachel, but she's just ordering at the bar. So just been to the Nando's. Um, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> um, and yeah, there's, there's physical warm-up and vocal warm-up, but because I've already had that, I don't need to do it, but. So we've just had the 15 minute call and I'm going to head down to get into costume. Um, I'll try show some backstage stuff, but I think it's gonna be really, really dark. So I apologize about that. So you can sort of see a little bit. So this is stage left. You see the stage there. This is obviously Tracy's house that comes on then. I'm trying to see any more props you can see. Lots of little bits of set. Here are the towers that you will see throughout the show. Um, they appear loads if you can't watch a show like in all the silhouettes and stuff that is where we stood. And then of course you've got the hairspray can over here that Edna comes out of in You Can't Sort the Beat and then you've got the little scoreboard here, Miss Teenage Hairspray. Woo! Then at the back of the stage, so the, technically the stage is here, this is all the back bit, is wigs, where all the wigs go and all our quick changes happen. You've also got some more set here, so Tracy's uh, cell. That is honestly was my favorite bit of my cover run, having to stand on that toilet and sing, it was great. And then on this side is stage right. So when we're all singing side of stage, this is where we're stood, looking at the screen there, doing our backing vocals. All the vocals are live in the show, by the way, just to, just to add a little fact. Here you have a props table, the pinky hut, Penny's bed. And yeah, you've obviously got all the bars for Doll's house. This is my little area where I get changed and do all my quick changes, bar one. I do one side of stage, but all the rest happen here. Also, I was gonna mention about those bars. Somebody asked me if they're heavy. The answer is yes, very, very heavy. Like they are pure metal. Look how tall they are. Like, honestly, they are so heavy. 
<laughs> so I'm now in costume in my Shelly opening outfit. Actually, I don't fully open in this. I do wear a coat for Good Morning Baltimore, but it's hot, so I'm not gonna put that on right now. Oh, that's good lighting. Um, but yeah, I'm ready for the show. Uh, five minutes, yeah. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get on with the show and I'll vlog a bit later. So we have finished act one. Oh my God, why is my wig so big today? We are just about to start act two and that is Big Doll House. Um, and I am a hooker. I think I'm hooker hashtag number two, uh, which is really cute. And I get a little line as well. I, honestly, this, I look like a tacky version of Marilyn Monroe. You should see my outfit is like so extra. Also, didn't update you all on my physio session. Um, basically, all that's happened, no need to worry. I know you're panicking, but it's all good. Uh, I basically have really, really tight, <laughs> tight quads. So my quads are tight and they were like pushing on my knee or something. I don't really understand it, but yeah, nothing to worry about. So I completely forgot to end my vlog. I'm literally just here, kind of still in London. Please bear in mind, if I hiccup, I've got hiccups. I'm really sorry. So yeah, the show was a success. Act two went very well. The show was great. We had an amazing standing ovation again. So yeah, again, thank you guys for coming and supporting the show. Like it's been absolutely sensational. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And obviously please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe because I'm trying to grow my channel. So any help is honestly so much appreciated. I can't tell you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has already done that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to love you all, leave you. I'll see you back soon for my next video. Bye.